I'm Jonathan Goldson, author of Grappling with the Gray with today's edition of News of the Day. Have you heard of China's law of collection and use of administrative regulatory data? Probably not. That's because it's called by a different name. It's called China's social credit score. And if you think that sounds ominous, then you'll understand why there is so much controversy surrounding what ostensibly is a program to hold Chinese corporations accountable for less than reputable practices or rewarding companies that behave responsibly. Phrase it that way, it actually sounds like a pretty good idea. So why has it given rise to a plague of conspiracy theories? The answer is simple. We live in an age of mistrust, and China is one of the most untrustworthy players in the game of global commerce and politics. It's easy to imagine the Chinese government creating algorithms to gather data and calculate ratings based on which websites you visit, what you post on social media, and who your close connections are. In fact, it's almost harder to imagine that China isn't planning such a program or that it hasn't already begun to implementing one. It would hardly surprise us to learn that less compliant Chinese citizens are being denied access to business resources, air travel, and medical care, would it? But then it's worth asking, aren't we engaged in the same kind of practices? More and more, our lives and livelihoods are at the mercy of social media algorithms and social media influence. The court of public opinion provides a valuable check on antisocial behavior, but only when the public is informed and only when opinions are permitted to organically emerge based on facts rather than being manipulated by factoids in the hands of irresponsible moderators. Which means that we have to exercise extraordinary caution to protect our own reputations while exercising extreme wariness before we rush to condemn others. Creating a community of trust becomes increasingly difficult the more irrationality and irresponsibility overtake the wider culture. So, we have to make a choice. Will we simply give up on intellectual integrity, or will we redouble our efforts to confront and combat moral anarchy? What will you do today to earn trust from others and to prove to others your willingness? To let them earn your trust. Please join the conversation by leaving a comment, then please share or like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan Goldson reminding you to face every day by grappling with the gray.